talking and you're laughing. <laughs> Having fun in church. Go uh, figure. The nerve of it. Ah, I hate shame. Shame on people. Shame on people. Shame on people. Yeah, good luck, right? Yeah. Oh, the altar flowers today are given by Julie in loving memory of her husband, Benny. The coin jar for the month of August will go to support the Ukrainian people. They need all the help we can give them. The school mission projects are accepting donations of school supplies uh, for students in Southampton School District. Uh, you can put donations in the, the uh, container in, in the conference room if it makes life easier. Uh, you can donate a gift card um, and give those to, to Betty. We need everything no later than August 28th. You all know the drill. What's happening September 18? Uh, yeah. We're eating. No church Until here. Until we eat again. Until right? we eat again. That's right. No church here. Church picnic September 18th. <laughs> Don't come here on the 18th. You'll, you'll be in a parking lot all by yourself. Um, on the 18th, please go out to the Butterfly Pavilion, Butterfly Pavilion out in Smith Woods in Smithville. <laughs> Bible study. <laughs> Our next Bible study will be Breaking the Code, Understanding the Book of Revelation. Wednesday morning people, you're just getting a book. Wednesday morning, people, if your name's not on the list. Huh? What? Later. Later. Well, yes, we'll, we can talk later, now, whatever. <laughs> yes, two books for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a long night, I'm sorry. <laughs> a long night. Ooh, perhaps it's a very good thing you're here today, then. You got that it's right. It's always a good thing you're here. It's, you got that right. In the back, there is a sign-up sheet, I repeat. Wednesday morning people, if your name is not on the list, you're going to get a book anyway. Dorothy, you're getting a book. Brenda, you're getting a book. Thursday night people, please put your name on the list because some of you are able to make it, some of you are not able to make it. And for those of you who have not been our Bible study regulars, consider getting your name on the list for a book anyway. It's a pretty fascinating read. We all have questions, and, and we all find the book of Revelation fascinating. Um, it's an interesting read. We think they are $15, um, and we'd like to get the books ordered fairly soon. So Bible study, breaking the code, book of Revelation, understanding Revelation. Wednesday morning, people, you're getting a book regardless. Everybody else, just put your name on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I appreciate everything you said, but what time? Ah, good question. Wednesday morning. Nice. Oh. <laughs> See, pick on, pick on. <laughs> Who's one in every bar? <laughs> Wednesday morning meets in the hall at 9.30. Thursday evening meets in the hall at 6.30. We will be starting to be determined, but after Labor Day. Uh -huh. See? Start after Labor Day. Yes, the exact date will be determined very soon. Yes, it's September, right? Yes, unless, unless, yeah, yes, yes. See? Yes. Pick on me, will you? She's got my back. All right, we're good? You're good on time? And, and are you going to be a Wednesday morning or a Thursday night? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a few of those. Oh, now you what? He said the one that come on Wednesday morning to get a book. If you come Thursday night, you get a car. <laughs> you need to sit over there. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, look, we have an August birthday on M Mary Kay, you're going to be 18. <laughs> oh, don't you wish. 
For how, many, <laughs> for how many times will you be 18? 18 with X number of years of experience, yeah, right? I think three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to my friend Drew is also having do, do you know you're in church? Do you, know, do you realize yeah. you're in church? Uh, uh, Drew is also having her birthday. Hmm. On, the, on the 13th. On the 13th. She's also 18. <laughs> 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 twins. Yes, yeah, twins. Yeah. So we have Mary Kay and Julie. Please stand and we will join in this morning's gathering chorus of Holy, 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 page 64, 64.
If you'll join with me, please, in this morning's call to worship. God called Abraham and Sarah and promised to bless them. Through faith they obeyed and received God's inheritance. God called Isaac and Jacob as heirs to that promise. They too followed in faith, seeking God's throne. God calls us to join them as heirs with the faithful. We come here in faith, assured by the hope that is filled in the lives of your servants. Our hymn of praise is Lift High the Cross, page 159. That's 159. Thank <laughs> join with me please in our opening prayer the Lord be with you and also with you let us pray God, God of life and love 
You take delight in your creation. Ignite our spirits to worship you with sincerity. Illumine our minds with the truth of your word. Inspire our hearts to seek your treasure alone, that our hearts may be pure and our actions may be noble and just as we share your love. Through Jesus Christ, our hope and promise, we pray. Amen. This morning's Acts of Praise is Psalm 50. Uh, it's on 783, continuing to 784. We will do 1 through 8 and then jump down to 22 and 23. The mighty one, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and does not keep silence, before whom is a devouring fire, round about whom is a mighty storm. God calls to the heavens above and to the earth. Gather to me my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare God's righteousness, for God alone is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not reprove you for your sacrifices. Your burnt offerings are continually for me. Mark this then, you who forget God, lest I rend and there be none to deliver. Those who bring thanksgiving to their sacrifice honor me. To those who order their way aright, I will show the salvation of God. Today's epistle lesson is from Hebrews 11, 1 through 3, and 8 through 16. They can be found in the New Testament on your Pew Bible on pages 225 and 226. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commanded for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was vis visible. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land, like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised, 
They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. People who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have the opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Here ends our first reading for today. God bless the reading of his word.
Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Today's gospel lesson is from Luke 12, 32 to 40. It can be found in the New Testament on page 75 of your Pew Bible. Please stand if you wish. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Watchfulness. Be dressed, ready for service, and keep your lance burning, like servants waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet so that when he comes and knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will dress himself to serve, will have them recline at the table, and will come and wait on them. It will be for the night or towards daybreak. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please turn to page 696 in your hymnal and we will sing America the Beautiful, page 696.
the stories of little Johnny. You got to love him. <laughs> little Johnny wanted $100 for a new bike and prayed for two weeks, but nothing happened. Then he decided to write God a letter asking for the money. When the local postmaster saw the letter addressed to God USA, he decided to send it to the President of the United States. The President was so impressed, touched, and amused that he instructed his secretary to send the little boy a $5 bill. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Little Johnny was delighted with the $5 and wrote a thank you note to God. And it read, Dear God, thank you for sending the money. However, I noticed that for some reason you had to send it through Washington, D.C. As usual, those crooks decided, deducted $95. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> trouble now. Look, they're going to go talk about me now. See, that's what's happening. That's what they're going to do. I know. I know. They're afraid of what's coming next. Um, profound visions. It seems that a lot of the prophets, although some of them were minors, no such thing as a minor prophet. Right? I know. They're all important. Anyway, some of them that are really not known that well had visions. And then there were some of them who are very well known that had visions, profound visions. This is from the book of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah, the book is about this long, it's huge. But we're going to start in the very beginning. Now, why this is important, I, I don't know. I don't question these things. The vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Johan, Johan Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah. Why did that matter? I don't know. Like I said, you, you know, it's, it's like when, when, when our readers get up and, and, and oh, look at that word. Oh, I'm never going to, I'm going to, I'm going to murder this word. No, it's not the, it's not the, the story. It's, it, it's just, it, just a, a little tease, you know, kind of gives you a little guidance. So this is who Isaiah was. Anyway. He went to the leaders with a vision that God had given him. Now, two of the places you're going to recognize right away, okay? Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah, right? We know those two places right away, okay? We know what happened to them, though, so. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. Now, we, we heard a little bit about, about that in, 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 in the early readings. Uh, I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, I do not delight in the bull, in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. This is God telling them, knock it off. What you're doing is not getting you out of trouble. You're in it, and you're in it deep. When you come to appear before me, who asked this, for, this from your hand? Trample my courts no more. Don't bother to come see me. 
Don't bother to come see me. What you have done, you've done on your own. And no matter how many animals you bring in here and slaughter, is going to do nothing for you. Bringing offerings is futile. Incense is an abomination to me. God's getting heavy with these people. You know, they're, they're sitting there thinking all this time, well, let me bring this, and our God will be happy and satisfied, and no, no. Because what they're actually doing is, is they're falling back on their lessons and on their beliefs of bringing worship to a golden calf, and it means nothing. The golden calf is just nothing. It's nothing. New moon and Sabbath and calling of convocation. I cannot endure solemn assemblies with iniquity. Your new moons and your appointed festivals, my soul hates. Yeah. All right? God is really getting heavy with these people. I hate what you're doing. I despise what you're doing. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you, even though you make many prayers. I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. You're bringing these sacrifices that mean nothing. And God is telling through Isaiah, I don't want to see another one. I don't want to see you. I'm tired of them. They're becoming a burden to me and, 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 and what you pray for? What you pray for, I am not going to answer. Hey, let me tell you what, I'm glad that we're not on God's bad side because we see what we pray for becomes a reality. We're on God's good side. Yeah, or are, are our lives a little messed up at times? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's just the way it's going to be. We all sin. God's not happy that we all sin. But he knows that we are human. That we are going to falter. And there is no perfect person in this world. Other than me, of course. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove your evil deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rescue the oppressed. Defend the orphan. Plead for the widow. These are the things that God really wants to see his people do does not want those burnt offerings. He wants us to plead to come to the aid of the widow and of the orphan. Help them out. Help out the poor. Do what we can to help them. That's what he wants to see. He doesn't want to see these false wishes. Come now. Let us argue it out, says the Lord. Who's going to win, right? If your sins are like scarlet, they will become like snow. If they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel... You shall be devoured by the sword. 
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Now that's what Isaiah saw to start out. And it's always surprising to me in a sense when I start reading these, these, these lessons and I start thinking about them. Um, what where we are again in our world today where history is repeating itself and you have nations that are being devoured by the sword. Now whether they were against God or there is and I believe a large presence of the darkness that is causing these nations to be devoured by the sword. They're not doing what God wants them to do. God never asked, I don't think anyway, that Ukraine be conquered, invaded by the Russians. I do not believe God turned around and said, yes, this is what I want you to do. I want you to wipe out this group of humanity. No. For the simple fact that if God wanted that group of humanity to be wiped out, he would have turned around and said, you're done. He's done it. So we need to think about what God would want us to do with our lives. And then let us not keep open promises. Let us turn to God and say, okay, I promise I will do this and your will be done. And our lives will be a whole lot better. Amen. Amen. So we get to go to our Lord in prayer. Um, we were praying for Kathy's cousin, Linda, who has the, uh, the uh, cancer pancreas. It seems that the cancer is spreading and now it's into the bowels. So we just ask God to be with her and the family as they work on hopefully a cure. Um, and her nephew Todd, who had the brain tumor that no one here wants to operate on. Um, they have found a doctor who will do the surgery, and he's being flown to Germany so he can have the surgery done. So our prayers go with him also uh, for good for good turnout. You know, everything everything's going to work. God's favor no matter how the outcome but so we will keep him in our prayers also um, and we need to keep Margaret in our prayers um, Margaret is still battling with depression very badly and so you know we want to try to pray that she be uplifted um, she She has said she really needs to come back to church. She just hasn't been able to find the heroics to be able to do so. So she knows. And she knows that she's more than welcome to come back to us at any time. You know, our, our, our hearts are open, our arms are open, waiting for her. So... Yes, so we want to keep her in our prayers. 
Um, speaking of coming back to us with open arms, Clay and April, welcome back to us. It's very good to see you up and healthy again. You know, I got to talk to you on the phone, but and text, but you know, it's good to it's good to see you. Good to have you back. I'm glad you're here with us. And uh, there's another person that I, I I said I would do a shout out to. So I have to. Oh yes, Carl's back with us too. Um, don't get don't get in his way because he's got that poop that'll hurt when he kicks. Um, but yes, and 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 so there's a, a, another person that um, if you remember, Kathy brought her cousin a while ago to come and and attend here, come and visit us, um, and her husband is a pastor, um, the Reverend Vern Alford. And he is in California. Okay, why am I doing a shout out? Because he has been ill and has not been able to attend to his people in his church. But he tunes in and why, I don't know, watches us every week. So from California. So Vern, welcome to New Jersey and we're glad to have you here. <laughs> I promised I was going to do that, so now I know he's probably all embarrassed, him, but that's okay. Nobody sees him blushing. Um, do we have anyone else that, uh, we, yeah, Judy. Yeah, um, my nephew passed away, um, he had cancer, and nobody knew it, and I like to talk to the family, that's Ronald's keeper. Your niece's name again? I know you had warned me that you had some praises. Yes. Okay. Well, let's hear some praises then. Well, you don't normally see me in a pajama top. This is true. My <laughs> wife would never understand. Well, I'll explain. <laughs> we, when I leave here, everybody knows I go to another church. Yes. Well, <laughs> I thought you nodded off for the glory of our truth. I might have. <laughs> but it was a, we, we had a good time. We, we, it was a successful fundraiser as far as the funds go. We played games, we watched movies. So that was a praise. And then also, just another, um, for the past three years, the same church. Yeah. We've been without a pastor, and it's sort of like a couple of us leaders have been running the church. And last Sunday, we voted to uh, hire, to, we've now got our pastor. Good, 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 he's good. A very nice man from the local, he lives in Berlin, but okay. he's, been, he's local in Browns Mills. Yeah, 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 and yeah. So, yeah, so that's a, a very big praise for us. Yes. And a relief at the same time. Yes. So. Yes. Um, may he bring new life to the church. Maybe not today, though. 
Not today. Most of the people that will be in church today are... Uh, Sound asleep. <laughs> yep. Pastors get used to that. People falling asleep during their sermons and stuff. It just happens, you know. Um, and of course, the other big, real quick chuckle yes. is that I fell asleep during, I dozed off during one of the movies. Oh. So my daughter put pink highlights in my hair. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my daughter. Of yes. All people. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. And then chuckled about it. And before she cleaned, I cleaned up before I came here, but there was pink all <laughs> over my face. Yeah, there's a picture yeah. that's probably going to show up on Facebook. Good. Yeah, exactly. What are kids for? Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and, and about that inheritance that you had been promised? I nah, know. it's gone. <laughs> I know. No, that's, that's, that, that's by the wayside. And she chuckled about it, too. So yeah. When yeah. I yeah. stirred, how dare you fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, movie must, the movie must not have been that good then. Well, as long as you no, had the fun. That's was what, great. Oh. When it gets to be 2 o'clock in the morning and yeah. the lights are out, Oh yeah. You you probably weren't the only one that fell asleep during that. No, I wasn't, but I, yeah. I was the only one that they picked up. They got decorated. At yeah. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, it wasn't a Hallmark movie, no. If it had been a Hallmark movie, everybody would have been asleep. They would have all been outside having coffee. Well, there you go. There you go. Exactly. Oh, my. We don't get that channel. <laughs> well, I guess then let's go to our let's go to our Lord in prayer. Oh eternal God, you showed your prophets visions and told them to deliver the message to the people. It was them that went maybe not so much in joy but delivered the message anyway. You had warned the people to change, to turn their, change their ways and turn away from their evil doings, and they would not listen to you. So your wrath came down. And we understand the punishment. But we are so happy that we as Christians, as believers in your Son, and believers in your miracles, that we walk freely. And you wait in the background. You wait for us to mess up, which you know we're going to do. And this happens. You know it's going to happen. But God, we are so glad you are there waiting for us to be able to bring us through. The sacrifices that we make in your name are not empty. We are not bringing bulls or calves or anything else of that sort to you. We bring to you the sacrifice of our hearts to love you, to be in an earnest and comforting relationship with you, O oh God. This is what we ask you to do. This is what we need to do. So God, we thank you for all of the miracles that you do for us and perform in our, in our eyesight, 
those miracles that we see. Oh God, we pray to you in the need of many people. We pray to you for Linda. May that cancer be held back. May it be given a little relief. But it be your will, O oh God, that we live by, that we have to follow and we have to accept. So whatever it be, your will, please, O oh God, don't make her suffer. We pray for Todd, who's going to be going over to Germany to have surgery to have the tumor removed. We ask that it be a successful operation, a successful trip, and give him the traveling mercies that he will need to travel overseas. We ask you, O oh God, to be with our sister Margaret as she is still in depression. But know that we are still here for her and let her know that whatever she needs, we're here for her. We ask you to be with Vern, who is sick in, in, out in California, and may he get strength again and get strong again and come back into the pulpit. And if for some reason, oh God, he can't, let him relax, rest retire, let him enjoy his days. We ask you to be with Ronnie's family and Margaret's family as they passed away and let them, let them be together and hold each other closely. We ask you to be with Paula who has to go, undergo brain surgery. We ask that you be with those doctors, guide their hands, guide their thoughts, and may they be cured. Now, God, we thank you, we praise you for your miracles of healing Clay and healing Carl and bringing Clay, April, and Carl back together with us again as they were so missed are so happy that they are able to be back to worship you with all of us. And then God, we thank you for successful fundraisers. We know that, uh, you know, it, it, takes, it takes funds to run your church, to run your house of worship. And so we come to you just thanking you for the successful fundraisers. And then we thank you for the success of finding a new pastor to take over the flock at the Baptist Church. May they be happy with him and him with them. And may all of it work out to your glory. Now, God, we just... Thank you for all of the things that are done for us and all the things that are done through your Son. We do these things in the love of your Son, who gave us these words to say when we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
we also want to wish traveling mercies on Betty and Mary Kay as they're going to be running away from us. And Courtney. And Courtney. Oh, Courtney's going too. Yeah. And Pat and George. And Pat and George. Poor Courtney. <laughs> She's outnumbered. She's watching George. There you go. She's going to make sure he behaves. So we want to just wish you traveling mercies and uh, don't stay away too long because you know, we're Oh, they found it. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> they found Noah's Ark. It was hiding. <laughs> ah, so were the collection plates. But I found them. So, the treasures that we give, the sacrifices that we give, are sacrifices that God can use, and he can use them for whatever he needs. So I will ask the ushers if they will come forward and assist us with today's tithes and offerings. So God bless the gifts, bless the givers. sacrifices that we offer to you. They're not empty sacrifices, oh God. They're offered to you to be able to raise your people up, build them up, and strengthen your spirit here in this, your kingdom of earth. We give you all honor and glory, both now and forever, O oh merciful Father. Amen. Amen. And you may be seated. And you will open your hymnals to page 12. Actually, I think we're going to start on page 13 at the Great Thanksgiving. I know, uh, but time is getting close. So, you know, I'll make sure we keep time going together. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty Father, Creator of heaven and earth. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church. 
delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread. He gave thanks to his heavenly Father. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat, for this is my body which has been broken for you. Do this. Likewise, he took the cup. He gave thanks to his heavenly Father. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take and drink from this, all of you, for this is the blood of my body which has been poured out for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Remember me as often as you eat. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. In the Methodist Church, it is an open table. It's not my table. It's not the church's table. It's the Lord's table. And everyone is invited to partake. Now, those of you that are home on Facebook and YouTube, well... I hope you got time to run and get a piece of bread and a cup of juice so that you can take it with us also. You don't have to be here. You can take it there as well. So I'll ask my communion helpers if they will come forward. There's many times that we face hardship. We face hard decisions. But to know that we have by our side our Savior, who, if we ask, will help us through those tough decisions.
hold his hand. And he will be there to guide us all the way. What a great thought. This is the body of Christ, which has been broken for you. Take and eat and be thankful. The cup of salvation that has been prepared for you and poured out for you through the love of our Savior Jesus Christ. Take and drink and be thankful. bow our heads in prayer. Most gracious God, as we have come to the table and to remember the sacrifices of your son, what he sacrificed for us, his life, we just thank you, O oh God, for our ability to be able to worship him, to thank him, and to remember all this that he has done for us. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now please stand if you wish and open your hymnals to page 701.
there with our Savior, with our Creator God. So our service here today has ended. Sorry. But our service to the world does not end. So go into the world, share the light, share the love, share the visions that God is going to give you. And be prepared to run if it's one that people don't want to hear. <laughs> but do it all to the glory of God. And may the peace of God go with you all. Amen. Amen. Amen.